Well, hello there, Westford Farm School. It's uh, Dan here today, and I'm really sorry I can't be with you in person for our assembly uh, today. Uh, but hopefully things will settle down soon and I'll be able to get back into school and see you all again. Now, I'm here outside today in my garden enjoying some of the flowers and the greenery and the birds singing. I can hear the bumblebees buzzing. And that tells me that this is springtime. It's springtime. I love springtime, don't you? Uh, spring is the season of the year when things start to kind of come back to life after the cold winter. So we've got the, the flowers blooming and things like that. Spring is a season of new life. Uh, uh, but also for me, as you know, I'm a Christian. I believe and follow the Lord Jesus. I'm the pastor of a church called Christ Church. And spring is also the time when Christians celebrate Easter and Easter is also a super super special time for Christians um, and it's so appropriate that it happens in springtime because Easter is all about new life that's what the Easter celebration is all about um, and I'd love to tell you a bit more about this and um, to help you understand why Easter is so in so important and all about new life and, and I want to use two of my other really favorite things. I love spring, but I love something else as well. I love food, okay? So let's go inside and I'll help explain. All right, so here I am, I'm back in the kitchen and I found something really scrummy. Now I wonder if you could tell me what this is, right? This is my son, Jesse. Jesse, what is this I've got here? Mm, it looks like it's got raisins in. Yeah, it's got raisins in. Smells good, doesn't it? it? Smells fragrant. What's Red. it called? What's it called? Tell everybody what it's called. Mm. It's a hot cross bun. Hot cross bun. Do you know what hot cross bun is? Yes, yeah, a hot cross bun. So I'm going to cook this. Now, while we wait for my hot cross bun to cook, uh, let me tell you about hot cross buns. They are a traditional Christian uh, bun uh, that usually are made towards the end of Lent, which has been this season of fasting and praying and getting ready for Easter time. And that ends usually on Good Friday, okay? That is traditionally when people used to make and eat hot cross buns, all right? And they've definitely got that cross on them. And that cross represents Jesus's cross. And I'm gonna tell you a bit more about that in just a second. Right, our hot cross buns are ready. Jessica, are you ready to eat one? Yeah. Now, do you want the bit with the cross on? Yeah. You have that bit. I'll have this bit. Ready? Three, two, one. Ah. Oh, mm. really good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Do you want another one? Oh, okay. I've finished my hot cross bun now. I've still got some in my teeth. But now that I've finished, let me tell you a bit more about Good Friday. Now, again, like I said, that's the day we would traditionally eat hot cross buns because that's the day when Jesus, whom Christians worship and follow, when he died on the cross. Now, that's funny when you think about it, really, because why would we call the day Jesus died good? Why isn't it bad Friday or sad Friday? Why is it good Friday? Well, that's because Christians believe, and the Bible tells us, and Jesus himself said that when he died, he was dying for other people. He was dying so that they could be saved, saved from all of the bad things in their lives and the bad things that they've done and all the sad things in the li their lives. Jesus dies to save us. It's like we, we owe somebody a lot and lot of money and we can't pay it back. No matter what we do, no matter how hard we try, we cannot pay it back. But that person says, don't worry, I'll pay it for you. You don't owe me anything anymore. I'll pay the price that you owe. And that's like what Jesus is doing on the cross. He's paying the price for what we owe to God 
for all of the bad and the sad things we've done. So actually it's good because it's it's how we as Christians can be set free and forgiven of all the bad and the sad and, and set free from all of those things. That's why it's good because Jesus is doing something really good for us. Now, I'm getting a bit peckish again, I have to say. Uh, I wonder if I've got something else lying around the house this time of year, something tasty and chocolatey that I could eat at Easter time. I wonder what it could be. What would you like to have at this time of year that's chocolatey and Eastery? Maybe an Easter egg. So I found an Easter egg. This is a Maltese one. Don't know if you like Maltese, let's open it out. Now, the thing is about chocolate Easter eggs, not only are they absolutely delicious, right, but they are eggs. Now, why on earth do we eat chocolate eggs at Easter time? Well, again, because it's spring and spring is a time of new life and eggs, well, they represent new life, you see, um, new birth. Now, you see, what happened is on the Good Friday, Jesus died for our sins. But two days later, after he was buried, he rose again from the dead. He's defeated death itself. He's alive. There's new life with Jesus. That's what this Easter egg is representing. Uh, and this Easter egg happens to be empty. Look, I'll show you. So this Easter egg is empty. Let's see. Oh, whoa. Okay, look now, can you see this is an empty chocolate Easter egg? Thank you, Jesse. Um, and what this also reminds us about Easter is that when Jesus died and rose again, the tomb where he was buried was empty as well. So another reminder that Jesus is alive. And because he's alive, we can have a new life too. We can have a new life with Jesus and get to enjoy lots of lovely chocolate. Mm, that's interesting. Yeah. Mm, have some, have a bit more. Mm. Mm, you want them? Well, there we are. I've had my fill of hot cross buns and Easter eggs, yummy, yummy. Uh, well, there you are. There's something about what Easter means for Christians. The hot cross bun, all about Good Friday when Jesus died on the cross for our sins. That's good. But also, two days later is Easter Sunday when Jesus rose again from the dead. And that's all about new life. And do you know what? This is why Christians love to celebrate Easter probably more than any other holiday in our year because this means we could be forgiven oh, of all of the things that we've done wrong and we can have a new life with Jesus forever. Easter is really, really good news. Now, it's nearly the Easter holidays for you guys and I'm sure you're going to have a great break. I hope you do. I, I'm sure some of you are going to eat some chocolate Easter eggs. I'm sure some of you might even have some hot cross buns. But when it gets to Good Friday and Easter Sunday, maybe you'll have a chance to remember what Easter really means, what it's all about for Christians. All right, Westwood Farm, it's been lovely to share with you today. I hope to see you really soon. Otherwise, have a great Easter. Bye-bye.